What's up guys, today we will be comparing the S22 Ultra to the S10 Plus here. So let's go ahead and get started here with the price. So uh, S22 Ultra after taxes cost me $12.83. The Note 10 or the S10 Plus, uh, you will be able to get this phone for around 300 bucks in the used refurbished marketplace, uh, if not a little bit cheaper as well. So it's very cheap, uh, older flagship phone. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So if you are planning on upgrade grading, you will notice a big hardware difference here. So we do have just a much bigger phone. The S22 Ultra is definitely a very thick phone and um, it's definitely much heavier than the S10 Plus as well. So that's one of the first things that's going to stand out. Also, you get a new design here, as you can see, uh, pretty much just a different camera module setup. I think they both actually look very clean. I really love the color on the S10 Plus. Um, so they're both glass and metal phones and they're both IP68 dust and water resistant as well. So there's a few differences with the hardware that you will notice. So down below, you can see now on the S uh, series lineup, we do have a stylus built into the phone, like on the, it's basically a note, uh, if you want to just be real here. And then you will notice that there is no headphone jack on the S22 Ultra. The S10 Plus does retain a headphone jack. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about the displays here. So on the S10 Plus, you do have a smaller 6.4 inch display. It is a dynamic AMOLED HDR10 Plus. It is a 1440p display or 2K display, 522 for the PPI. The S22 Ultra does have the dynamic AMOLED display. It is 120Hz HDR10 Plus with a peak brightness of 1750 and it is at 6.8 inches, 1440p, 500 for the PPI. So looking at these two screens side by side, they both have the curved displays. And right off the bat, I noticed that the colors are exactly identical on these phones. So they look exactly identical. And also resolution wise, uh, they pretty much are identical as well too. Uh, text and everything is extremely sharp on both of these phones. Uh, so the real difference with display would be obviously the bigger size here. And then you have a double punch hole on the S10 Plus versus the single punch hole in the middle. Me personally, I do like the punch hole being in the middle. Now you do have that extra camera up front. It's a basically like a depth sensor. Um, it'll just be able to take uh, wider selfies as well too. That's one of the things that I noticed. Um, but overall, the displays are extremely good on both. Really the big difference is gonna be that 120 Hertz. Uh, what I would recommend to people would be to go into Best Buy and see if 120 hertz is going to be a big deal to you. Just play with a phone that has 120 hertz. And um, I do like the 120 hertz. It is very fast and it is noticeable versus 60 hertz. Uh, just feels very silky smooth when scrolling or pretty much doing anything on your phone. Uh, so that is definitely one thing that I noticed. But as far as display quality, they're really not that much different. Right, so let's talk about these specs a little bit more on the S22 Ultra, we are running the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor with the Adreno 730. No SD card support, 128 gigs, and then 8 gigs of RAM. This is the base storage model. And then on the S10 Plus, we do have the Snapdragon 855, Adreno 640. The S10 Plus does have micro SD card support, 128 gigs of internal storage, and this one has 8 gigs of RAM. So you do on, you know, if you get both, if you compare both base models, you do get that SD card support to be able to expand uh, the storage, which a lot of people actually like. Um, so that is one thing that you're going to be, I guess, downgrading from. Um, as far as the software, you need to know uh, that the S10 Plus Android 12 was its last major OS update and it will get three years of security patches. The S22 Ultra here uh, will get four years of major OS updates and it will get about around four or five years of security patches. So this phone does have a very long life cycle, actually one of the longest life cycles currently for any uh, Android phone. So that's definitely a plus if you're considering upgrading. But as far as the software experience goes, uh, yes, you do get the S Pen now. Um, so basically, if you're somebody that does digital artwork, and I just pull it out, if you're somebody that does digital artwork or you just want to navigate with the stylus, um, it is very nice to have. There are a, a lot of little things that you can do uh, with the S Pen, like you can take photos from a far distance with the uh, button right here. 
And um, it's just really nice to have. Like I said, I mostly recommend it for like people who like to do digital artwork. Um, I like to just take it out, write notes down uh, real quick, like make a grocery list and stuff like that. So it is very handy. It is very, you know, luxury, kind of classy feeling. Uh, but if we really get into the software, you're not really missing out on uh, much here. So both of these phones have your secure folders. They both have Samsung desktop support as well too. And they both have reverse wireless charging on here. They both have Dolby Atmos. So they pretty much got everything that you know you could really want um, as far as the software wise. So you're not really missing out on you know really a lot of features. As far as speed wise, let's go ahead and get a quick app opening test. And um, honestly, you're not really getting a huge upgrade in speed for the normal person. I will show you guys the Geekbench scores and benchmarks, but the S22 Ultra has been giving me very off scores since it's you know uh, fairly new. So hopefully that'll get fixed. Uh, but if we just go ahead and try to do a quick app comparison, you can see pretty spot on. Uh, they're both pretty fast. Really not that big of a difference. Like I said, pretty much identical. Like I said, what you really notice is that 120 hertz, especially when you're scrolling versus the 60 hertz. Oh, uh, let's try Instagram. So you guys pretty much get the point. They're still pretty much on par with each other as far as speed goes. Now, as far as gaming, if you go ahead and launch PUBG here, um, for heavier games, they're still kind of on par, but let's go ahead and see. Now, your gaming performance will pretty much be the same, and I'll, pretty, I'll show you with the PUBG graphics. I wouldn't necessarily upgrade for a better gaming experience because the 855 chip, if you check out my full gaming test, it does a pretty good job. So you can see it, S22 Ultra got in there first SM plus right behind it so all right so we got PUBG open and you know just to show you here they both play at the exact same settings like I said check out my gaming test HDR 10 it can go up to ultra HD and they're both extremely smooth uh, so like I said you know I play Fortnite Call of Duty mobile on the S10 plus and it still plays great it even runs Fortnite at 60 frames so like I said, not really a big upgrade as far as gaming performance. The A55 chip still does a pretty good job. All right, so let's go ahead and check out these speakers um, here. And we will go ahead and turn Dolby Atmos on. Go ahead, max volume. So, like I uh, said in the previous videos, it looks like Samsung's take on the speaker is a little bit different, and I don't know if I'm a big fan of it. So, the top speaker now does not do as much bass as the pretty much all the other uh, Galaxy older flagships, um, which is kind of interesting how they went with that. I sort of like the more bassy sound, but I guess it comes down to which sound you like more. This has kind of like a flatter, a little bit crispier sound, um, but they're both very loud. And um, like I said, I kind of like the, the more bass sound uh, to me. It just sounds like the top speaker up here just has way more bass. It's almost no bass in this one. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the additional features. So like I said, they're both IP68 dust and water resistant. They both have NFC and they both have the fingerprint scanner under the display. And they're both very fast. I have not had an issue with the fingerprint scanners on these phones. And you also have face unlock on these guys too. So one thing you'll notice is that it looks like the fingerprint scanner is 
much lower on the S10 Plus. You can see kind of down there. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. A lot of people complain about it being too high or too low. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. I get used to it pretty easily. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the camera. So I'll show you guys the side-by-side -side stills, but let's go ahead and go over the specs. So in my opinion, the S22 Ultra does have a very good camera system, uh, one of the best that you can get really in any phone right now. Um, so let's go ahead and go over the specs. So it does have a 108 megapixel lens, a 10 megapixel periscope telephoto lens, 10x optical zoom, and then a 10 megapixel telephoto lens that does 3x optical zoom. And then you also have an ultra wide camera at 12 megapixels. And then you have 8K video at 24 frames with a 40 megapixel selfie cam that shoots in 4K 60. Uh, this phone is also capable of doing the 100 times zoom as well too, uh, which is okay. But honestly, this is one of the best zooming phones as well too. At 30 times and 10 times, it beats pretty much any phone that I've uh, used. So I really do like the zooming capabilities uh, on this device here so the s10 plus it does have a triple camera set up here it's a 12 megapixel standard and then we have a 12 megapixel telephoto 2x optical zoom and then we also have a 16 megapixel ultra wide as well too it shoots in 4k 60 and then we have a 10 megapixel wide selfie cam and then we have an 8 megapixel wide depth sensor and then it also a uh, 14, not 1440p, but a 4K 60 uh, shooter for the front. So let's go ahead and check out those stills side by side. Alright guys, we are on the S10 Plus here, ultra wide camera, our 2X, and be sure to let me know which video you guys think is the best, or do they all look alike? There's a video on the S22 Ultra. Three X, ten X, all right. So, lastly, let's discuss battery life. So, if you've had your Galaxy phone for a long time, I noticed that that's kind of a complaint if you haven't replaced the battery life. Now, the S22 Ultra does have a much bigger battery uh, this time, it's got a 5000 milliamp battery with 45 watt charging, so it just charges uh, extremely fast. You also have the reverse wireless charging as well, and then you have your standard wireless charging at 15 watts. The S10 Plus does not have a small battery by any means, it's a 4100. A milliamp battery on here but it does charge much slower at 15 watts so 15 watts versus the uh, 45 watts it is kind of a significant difference uh, you do have on here wireless charging and the reverse wireless charging as well so obviously you're going to get better screen on time on the s22 ultra better battery life but honestly the s10 plus if you have a good battery uh, this phone easily lasts me, you know, all day. So uh, it's not like a phone that I'm worried about uh, or I'm constantly charging. Uh, but yes, you will get better battery life. Uh, so it is a nice upgrade, especially the charging uh, speed. So be sure to let me know what do you guys think. Are you guys going to upgrade to this S22 Ultra or are you guys going to hold out for another year? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.